It's been a while since I last shared what I was currently coveting and today I've got a very realistic <laughs> wishlist video. A couple of the items I've actually already added to my wardrobe but a few of the others I'm still on the hunt for so I thought we could just dive right into it. And the very first thing at the top of my wishlist is a pair of ballet flats. Now I've got a few pairs of pointed toe flats but I really want something with a rounded almond toe, quite specific here and I want it in either a dark tan or in a black. I do have a low heeled black pump from About Ariane and those are brilliant, but some days you just want to wear a fully flat shoe, something that is a little bit easier for running around in. And the ones that I quite often default to are the day gloves from Everlane, which I've got in the taupe color. I do find these run half a size small if you do have wider feet. So I've got them in the US 10 uh, and I've been thinking maybe do I buy these in the black? The other brands that I've sort of been looking at have been Whitner, which I feel like they do a really good quality shoe at a reasonable price point. I've always said I don't think you need to buy a designer to get a really beautiful shoe, and I really like the little bow detail. These by comparison have the really high vamp, which to me feels quite modern. I will say, of course, I've flirted with the idea of buying a pair of Chanel flats, and I think more so than ever right now, because ballet flats as a shoe seem to be trending, the Chanel ones in particular. However, but they're not really in my budget right now. Maybe if I come across a great pair pre-loved that are in my size that still look like they're in great condition, it may be a go, but for now, I'm definitely looking at more affordable options. If you have any other suggestions, any other brands you think I should check out, please let me know in the comments. Second thing on my wish list is something I've already added and it was a pair of daisy earrings. For those of you who don't know, I actually got a second piercing a little bit earlier in the year and sort of at the point where I'm ready to start mixing things up. I thought that this was a really playful way to inject a little bit of personal style. Now, this part of the video is in partnership with Linnea and I'm really excited to be partnering with them again. Their summer sale is still on and you can use my exclusive discount code to get a little bit of a bonus saving on your order. So if you buy one, you can get your second item for 45% off and I just think that is brilliant so I just want to dial things back a bit and talk you through some of the new pieces because they recently launched some beautiful 14 karat gold items and I really love their 14 karat gold range just because they are really carefree and obviously you can wear them in the shower keep the earrings in your ears all the time so you don't really have to think about it and I just adore this little flower earring I think it is so beautiful and the white topaz has such a brilliant sparkle and you can see next to it I also have on the Huggies these are the new Rainer Baguette Huggies again in the 14 karat gold with the lab grown diamonds they also launched a few other pieces and the other one that I added to my jewelry collection from this new 14 karat gold range is the Juliet earrings which are a 14 karat gold rice pearl Huggy and these feel like a bit of an update to the Kristen Pearl Huggy which Linnea launched their jewelry collection with. The pearl is just ever so slightly larger and of course they're in the 14 karat gold. A few of the things that I really love about Linnea, for those who haven't heard me talk about the brand at length yet, is that they make this really luxurious, sustainably made jewelry at reasonable prices and I really love that. I really like the fact that you can buy a piece of luxury without breaking the bank and this really goes back to my own personal ethos where you don't have to spend squillions of dollars to get something that is really well made and beautiful hype. Quality. One of the ways they do this is by selling direct to consumer and that really helps them and allows them to keep their prices low. All of the gold and silver that they use throughout their collections is recycled and the gold verme pieces have a standard of 2.5 microns thick which is up to 10 times thicker than gold verme pieces from other brands and 100 times thicker than flash plating. Also all of the packaging is made out of recycled materials. I will say I really like the new pouches that they've got for their 14 karat gold pieces. They feel really luxurious as well and kind of add to the whole experience. It's also a female founded brand and I love being able to support other women in business. You know I've got so many favorites from the brand at this point. My Ilsa ring likes I wear on repeat. I really love the new sunstone ring which I shared in my previous video along with their moonstone earrings just gorgeous. The Matilde earrings with the pearl drop those to me are forever a classic and I really just don't think you can go wrong with these pieces. I, I just think they're stunning. So don't forget you can use my code Jamie to buy one and then get one 45% off. I think that's just a really brilliant opportunity to treat yourself or even treat a loved one if they've got a special occasion coming up like a birthday. By this point, you'll know that I've continued to wear some of my older pieces and they have really held up over time, which speaks to the quality 
quality aspect of Linya's jewelry. So I will have links to all of the pieces that I've shared along with some of my other favorites down in the description box below. But the daisy studs, oh, obsessed. I'm so thrilled to have these in my ears and I just think they add this nice little element of sparkle. Next on my list is a pair of belted or tailored shorts. I have really been going through my wardrobe just getting a little bit prepared for springtime which I know will be just around the corner here in Sydney and I've realized some of the shorts that I really really loved before I had children are just a little bit on the small side and I need to give them a bit of an update or they just feel a little bit too short for me. I want a bit more modesty these days. Maybe it's just something that comes with getting older. So I would like to get a nice pair of cotton or linen or even something that has a little bit more structure depending on the fabrication. Just a pair of shorts that will see me through the warmer months. Natural fibres obviously being preferred because of how hot it does get here in Sydney. Uh, I do have a really beautiful pair from a brand called Riri that I bought a few years ago now. I will say the fabric on these is slightly on the sheer side so sometimes you can see when you tuck things in uh, but these are great and I always feel really kind of elevated when I wear these and that's kind of the key thing here right I'm seeking I'm craving this level of refinement in my outfits something that I don't think you can get from a pair of denim shorts no matter how much you dress them up and it really is just as easy to wear something like this and especially when it is in more of that natural fiber fabrication they're really easy to care for as well I do actually have another pair from Ganny but I would not recommend these because they have pulled so much so these ones are actually a synthetic blend they're these ones here and I sometimes feel like they're a bit too high-waisted with the paper bag effect and then too long and they, they just look a little bit awkward on so I'm kind of thinking about retiring these and wanting to replace them so either getting something in more of a khaki neutral tone or something in the black so I have found a few options, but I'm still sort of looking for the perfect pair as I don't quite think I've found them yet. And again, I want to find something that is reasonably priced. So one of the first things that I was looking at were the Cezanne Rome shorts. These have a really big buckle. It's almost a bit of a statement piece and it's round. And to me, that has this real 70s aesthetic to it which isn't necessarily my preferred, but I do think I could remove the belt and put my own there. So that's kind of one of the things that I'm toying with. They look like they're a really nice, thick, robust fabric. And also they've got the turn up. So I get the feeling you could make them a little bit longer if you wish, or you could roll the turn up down and then you could even get them shortened if you wish and then just have them without the turn up, which I think would actually make them look a little bit more uh, sophisticated and more refined. So that is option number one. Option number two, I've seen that and other stories do a linen pair. Now these ones don't have a specific belt at the waist, but they are more of that tailored style. They have a fixed waist uh, and I think they're not too wide through the leg either. They have a few different colors. I think there were four when I was looking on the website and I just thought that these might be quite a nice style, something that is reasonably simple and classic that will be really easy to pair with what I have in my wardrobe. The third and final pair that I was looking at is the Way High Style from Everlane and it kind of looks like there aren't that many sizes or colors available. I get the feeling these were really popular. As I can say the Way High pants, which I have in two different fabrications, are brilliant. Um, and I really like how high those sit on the waist, but I also like the fact that these shorts don't look to be too long through the leg. But again, this is something I could easily get taken up slightly if I needed to get my perfect fit. Uh, I just think they are a really kind of classic style. But the only thing here is that I'm not really sold on all the colors. I clearly don't need a pair of bone colored linen shorts because I've already got these white ones from Riri. So kind of tossing up my options here but hopefully I will come across something before the spring summer season starts here in Australia. Okay next on my list a denim dress and I feel like this has been a little bit of a micro trend. I've seen quite a few people talking about denim dresses and in particular this is probably just an Australian thing but in particular the Scanlon Theodore denim dress which has these quite voluminous sleeves and it flares out in the skirt and to me this is a very specific look something that is a little bit of a statement and 
Personally, I think it also feels a little bit juvenile for me and I think it's the way that the skirt really flares out and it kind of it comes off a little bit twee just for my personal style and that's nothing against the dress because I've seen a lot of girls wearing it and they look absolutely stunning in it but it kind of just sparked in me this desire for a denim dress but something that would feel a little bit more timeless and then also feel more suited to my own personal style. I've seen a few others around Age do one they have a very recognizable style with those kind Kind of molten buttons and this one felt very similar and in line with the style from Scanlon Theodore so that made it a no and I also find those buttons really quite difficult to navigate uh, then I saw one from witchery this one felt kind of the most classic out of the three but again I, I think what I was missing was a longer length so actually I've added one to my wardrobe I'm gonna grab it so it's just behind me here this one is from staple the label and it's in a ecru denim and it also has the contrast beige stitching it's got the d-ring belt at the waist and it has some modern details it's got the sort of structured sculptural sleeves which I really like and then it is really nice and full through the skirt and it is a longer length so it feels a little bit more elevated a little bit more mature than those shorter styles and that was something I think I was looking for it kind of has just the right balance I think for me of polish but then also casual elements which is really down to the denim fabrication of the dress so this is the one I ended up adding to my closet and something I'm really looking forward to wearing especially as the spring summer season starts. Final clothing item on my wish list is one of those sheer knit merino tops from Cos or from Arquette. Now I actually have one from both stores I've got the black roll neck from Cos and then I've got the crew neck in a dark brown from Arquette. I get the feeling as both brands are owned by the same parent company and the fabrication feels essentially identical that these two styles are manufactured in the same factory. I would not be surprised anyway uh, as yeah, quality is on par and also the pricing I think is the same as well. Um, but I think I want to get the crew neck in ivory and sizing up one so that it has less of a snug fit and it's a little bit more relaxed. Uh, and I like the idea of wearing the ivory one with a black lacy bralette underneath, something that just peeks through ever so slightly because there is that sheer element but also being able to use it as a layering piece. I've got some kind of creamy colored dresses which I think would look really nice layered up for the winter months just because the fabrication is a little bit more weighty a bit more robust and it really kind of calls for that. So I've been looking at those two but I think these are really good value for money and I've personally been really happy with both of mine. They're definitely staples that I am quite happy to repurchase from both brands. And let's end with a bonus one. I have been looking to get some some new bedding. I particularly want to get some new linen bedding especially with the spring summer season kind of on the way as our older linen bed sheets they have started to really wear and what I've learned is that I'm not buying any more bedding from Adairs. I hate to say it as it's an Australian company I think but I have just found that all of the bedding we've purchased from there has worn really badly and gotten holes in it and not ideal I, especially after a really short period of time and I'm talking less than 12 months this is both a stone washed cotton in addition to the just regular linen bedding that they do uh, so I've been looking at two brands one being magic linen we've actually got their bed sheets on the queen size bed in our guest bedroom and the linen quality it is so robust it is really really thick it kind of has this more textured thick component to it it doesn't feel ultra soft but we've washed it a couple of times and it has sort of started to take on the softer quality and to me I think that really speaks to the longevity uh, it hasn't been treated with any chemicals and it has been stone washed in the traditional sense so using actual stones um, and I feel like the brand really does specialize in linen products it's all they sell uh, and I really like the color selection as well I think there's lots of fun options so that is kind of one of the brands that I have been looking at and then the other one is cozy earth so I've got a cozy earth linen duvet and it is really really soft again I really like the color we've got it in a natural hue and I just think it's really beautiful and given how soft that is I feel like the bedding is going to be the same we do have some bamboo sheets from cozy earth which I've been really happy with and they are really nice and soft and feel quite luxurious so I kind of feel like 
maybe based on that and our experience with that because they've worn quite well so far that the linen bedding would be the same so those are kind of the two brands that I'm tossing up between if you have any feedback please let me know I know there's a few other options in Australia like bed threads or cultivar linen or in bed I'm just sort of looking at I'm casting my net wider this time around to kind of see but yeah if you've got any particular recommendations then again let me know in the comments but that is what is currently on my wish list or some of the pieces that I've actually already picked up for the seasons ahead. I would love to know what you are thinking about buying right now and as I shared earlier if you are planning to treat yourself to anything new from Linnea now it's the time to do it while their summer sale is on and using my code you can buy one get one 45% off that code is Jamie all the details will be down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching for spending some of your day with me if you love this video and want to see more I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you very soon with a brand new one. Thanks for watching. Bye.